Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another fun, fast Tinkercad tutorial. So let's get cracking. So a user said, how do I hollow out the middle of this item? I've got a technique. Let me show you how it works. So friends, I do not have that user's design, but I can whip one up really quick. That looked like it was imported as an SVG because of the color of it, but watch this. We could really make that shape super quick. So first, I'm going to bring out a cylinder, and I'm going to put it on that work plane so it's got the same angle. I'm going to stretch it out. I'm going to make the side 64 so it's smooth. I'm going to do Control D to make a second one. I'm going to make it a hole. I'm going to hold down Shift and Squeeze so it shrinks a little bit. And then I'm going to look at it from a corner and make sure it's long enough. Now, if you remember right, there were edges cut off that shape. So we're going to simply do this. I'm going to make it back into a solid. I'm going to bring out a square hole. And so that I can make it the exact same on both sides, I'm going to do it like this. Control D, Shift Nudge, move that to where I think is kind of cool. Shift Select those two holes, and I'm going to group them. Now when I shift select that, I have got two shapes. I can choose a line, pick the middle, and when I group that, we have got the inside that was cut out. Turn it into a hole, shift select again, and then friends, a line, and a line. And if we hit group, we have just made a version of what was on that user's screen. Check it out, here's mine. Mine sticks out a little bit farther, but the idea is the same. So once again, because I made this, I could just do control D, I could ungroup and bingo, I'm filling the inside instantly. But they don't have that, so let me show you how to do it if you don't. Let's start by making sure the work plane is on that shape because we're working on the same one and simply bring out a cylinder. Also click on our original, do control D and move it to the side. Now I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna move this to 64 sides. I'm going to switch the color just so it's super clear what I'm doing. And then I'm just going to stretch it so it fits in the middle and doesn't pop out. So this is a little bit higher than I want, so I'm going to squeeze it down. And now I can select those two pieces. And let's see if it works when I hit a line, if I've got it totally filled in. Bingo, bingo. Yes, it does. Now, if we want the exact fit, watch this. Make this one a hole. Hold down Shift and click on your purple one. Group it and bingo, you've got the exact fit. If you do shift select and align, you have just solved your entire problem. How cool is that? So now friends, I could push this design in and I could push this design in and because the user wanted that hollow, I'm gonna make it a hole. I'm not sure what the user was creating, but you can see now that center area is cut in like I think the user was asking for. Just a quick bonus, if you don't want that seam, I bet you, if you stretch this out past and regroup it, bingo, there you have, seam is gone. How slick is that? Real quickly, I'm going to turn on multicolor so we can kind of see where we're going. And then also when I'm done, I like to shut off my grid so that it looks better on the camera. Once again, friends, we had to do that because the shape was brought in as SVG. I, of course, made the shape on my own, but that is how you could fill in just about any SVG using the trick where you make it into a hole and you cut out the chunk you need. Friends, of course, if you found this video useful, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you absolutely make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.